This programme contains strong language, sexual scenes and references from the outset and throughout. Bonjour Paris! The Geordies have arrived! Anyway guys, I get to work and it hits me like a ton of bricks that I am slightly drunker than usual. French wine is fucking strong. I'm getting a lap dance off not one but two men. It's like the fucking Moulin Rouge. The French people are looking at us like we're from Mars. Haven't you ever tried to defraud a massive baguette like it's a huge penis? <laughs> baguette fight! <laughs> Who ordered a round of tequila? Probably it's me, because I'm so wild and crazy in Paris. Cheers! You are unreal. You are a drunken dickhead. Yes, yes. Very incredible. Come on. Mona Lisa lives in there. Mona Lisa lives in where? The Louvre. What huh? the painting or her? her? I think she died a while ago, just the painting. Her. James is all over the place on a bike. We should have got the kids some stabilizers. James, there's a bus! <laughs> <laughs> play the ice cube game and get Kyle and Aaron to stand together. If they're kissing, they might as well speak, right? I'm and I really, really like Holly's big lips. My name is Holly, and I really like Scott's big lips. My name is Scott, and I really like Aaron's tattoos. My name is Aaron, my name is Aaron's tattoos. I really like Aaron's birth. Six, Scott. I'm trying to get Kyle and Aaron back together, not push them further apart, you giant Wally. I'm a little bit angry, a little bit, right? But to be fair, we've cracked on, we'll have a laugh, right? But so, like, I will never ever let, like, let this room Paris stop me. Even though after everything's just done, I do wish Marnie was here. It's not the same without her, and she would love to see the Eiffel Tower. Oh, look, Scott put his arm on you. That's so canny, man. We're in Paris, standing in front of the Eiffel Tower, all standing there, linking arms, smiling. We actually look happy. Everyone huddle again. I hear everyone get back, and I'm so nervous. After the way I left things at the party, I just don't know how it's going to go. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's fine, I, it's fine. I feel like it was my fault, though. No, it wasn't. Because it was, it was me. It was both of us. Aaron's come around a bit now, but it's basically over. I just need everyone to be OK with you. Like, you've just seen that, like, the loads of Eiffel Tower on that. Yeah, it was because you invited that girl. I didn't get to go to Paris. No, it's because you kissed Kyle. You didn't no, get to go to Paris. Uh, no, no, I'll take both of them. I'm going to take blame here. <laughs> I'm not taking all of it, like. Right, OK, well, I'm sorry for kissing Kyle. I needed to hear Marnie apologise, cos even though Kyle took the backlash, she was just as much to blame. And the reason why she'd done it is cos I made her jealous and she wanted to get his back. It was never intentional to hurt you. Do you know what I mean? Like, not, not in the slightest. And I knew, I, knew I, I knew I had done wrong and I'll admit it. I can't change it. I'm so pleased that Aaron's taken some responsibility for what happened at the party, and he actually understands why I done what I done. So we're friends now, then? 